Hey, Chad here, hanging out with the GRE folks in the Snowflake Mine. I uh, just wanted to show you guys a little bit of green fluorite. Stuff's pretty cool. The rock hounds love it. It's got a little bit of use in the industry. They use it to color glass, they use it to color pottery. They used to use it to lower the melting point of steel, so it was really sought after in World War II. Then steel ingredients changed shortly after and they stopped using it for that. Today it's used a lot, mostly for jewelry. Um, people think it has metaphysical properties, but it's mostly just pretty cool to chase. Here you can see a picture of it right in the vein and right on the host in the mine. A really cool shot. Yeah, here, while well, you're still rolling, I'll well, get a bit of a reveal on this. That's what I was seeing. He's right there waiting for whoever comes on in and mines it. It keeps going. I haven't uncovered it all. We're seeing little traces of purple in this mine. Nothing major, but it is... The fluorite collectors like to have a little purple and a little green or a little red. They like all the colors. Um, pretty cool. Most of the common fluorite if you go out to a rock shop or to a rock show and you go to buy a piece of fluorite, you're going to see it out. And it's going to be between 3 and $5, and it's not going to look like this. And that's because it's fake and it's from China. It's usually some kind of a plastic two-part epoxy that's been colored, and they're selling it off to you as fluorite because you don't know the difference. But this is the real deal in the mine. Can't fake that.